Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. This video is gonna be about the programming side of the administrator panel page. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, this is the view of our administrator panel page. I already explained about the user interface of this page in depth in the previous video. So I'll be only explaining about the programming side in this video. So let's get into codes of this page quickly. Now I'm going to Visual Studio Code as you can see. I am currently viewing the admin panel.php file. Inside of this PHP script, I am starting the session like this. Then I am requiring connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. Then these session codes are checking out whether an administrator is signed in or not. If an administrator wasn't signed in, this page is echoing. Sorry, currently you don't have administrative privileges. Then inside of these H4 tags, these codes inside of this PHP script are setting. Administrator's first name like this, then the last name like this. Then to this navigation pills section, I am linking manage users.php file like this and manage product.php file like this. These are codes of the dashboard section. Inside of this PHP script, I am creating a global variable as today like this. Then to that I am assigning date in this format. Then I am creating a global variable as this month. Then I am assigning month in this format to it like this. Then I am creating a global variable as this year like this. Then I am assigning year in this format to it like this. Then I am creating 5 global variables like this. As you can see those are named as A, B, C, E, F. Then I am assigning zero values to all of them. Then this search query is selecting all from our invoice relation like this. Then we are calculating total number of sold products like this. From the date that was saved in the full format, I am separating and just keeping the date like this. Then I am separating and just keeping the month like this. Then I am separating and just keeping the year like this. Then codes inside of this PHP script are setting today's earnings like this. Then codes inside of this PHP script are setting monthly earnings like this. Then codes inside of this PHP script are setting today's sellings like this. Then codes inside of this PHP script are setting monthly sellings like this. Then codes inside of this PHP script are setting total settings like this. Then codes inside of this PHP script are setting total engagements like this. Then these codes are calculating the total active time of the eShop like this. These codes are showing the today's best selling product. Then these codes here are showing the most popular seller. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. 
Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.